Hello, hello. I've come to share a new kit with you today and also to give you some tips on putting the kit together. It's taken me a couple of weeks to put this one together, which is quite a long time. And it's taken that long because it's purple and pink. And a lot of you know, I struggle with purple and pink. I don't know what it is because the images are fine. I can work with the images. I just really struggle with this color combination, but I am really happy with how it came together. There's just a few things I want to go over before I show you the whole kit. So this one is slightly different to the previous kits. There are actually, um, there's an extra panel in this one. Um, so we've got panel A, B, C and D. I haven't actually put my branding on the kit yet, but it will be on the kit once it's in the Etsy shop. So for each of these panels, there are certain inserts that will only fit onto these pages. So panel A and panel B, panel C and panel D all have um, a reverse. So there are three pages, which are the cover pages and this page here with the flaps, they have all had the backing page printed onto them. So that's the first thing I wanted to say. Um, if you do want to make this folio, um, these three pages are the ones you need to print the backing onto. There are some tag pages on their own, which you could also print the backing page onto if you want to not have them too thick. Um, I'm not doing that. I'm just gonna literally go through some of the, the ways this needs to be put together. So for example, this particular page is for panel B, which is this page here, this panel, this half. So this is the backing and this panel will only fit properly onto panel B and these pockets will also fit correctly onto panel B. We've got panel C and panel A on this particular page so obviously you can see this is the width of panel A on the cover and this is the backing for panel A. These are two pockets, they're a layered pocket option which goes again onto this panel A and it should all make complete sense when I start putting it together. So the next thing I just wanted to go over is each, these are both panel B, but you only have to print one. Okay, so you can have your, all of the pockets are, all these, they're two sloped pockets and you could have those facing left or right, it's entirely up to you. And on each one, there is a tag. So I know you'd have to still print both pockets if you wanted both tags. But the good thing about that is if you printed both, you would have enough to make two of your folios. So you just need to print additional covers or all of the tags that are on the pocket pages are also on a page on their own. So you might have two of some of the tags, but you wouldn't have to necessarily print this page. But what I have done just to make it a little bit different is all of the tags that are on their own page are flipped. So they're the reverse. Um, you'll see what I mean when I show you the kit shortly. So that's pocket options for panel B. These are the pocket options for panel C. And like I said, you can see what I mean when I say you've got options to have them left or right slanting. Here is one of the additional pocket pages and you can see what I mean when I say I've flipped those. So you could, depending on what you want to peep out of your pockets, you can print it either way round. And like I said, if you printed everything, you've got enough to make two folios. You would just need to print your, um, you would just need to print your flaps and your covers twice. So just these three pages, you would need to print twice and everything else, you would just have two options there for your folios. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut my my pieces out, but I'm going to make sure I keep my panels together with my with my folio. Right. So so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this piece here, which is panel C and A. I'm going to cut down the middle of those. And then everything that goes with panel C, I'm just going to paper clip those together. So I know all of my panel C pieces that fit together are together. Tags are irrelevant. They can be put into any pocket. 
This is panel A. So I've got these together with the panel A and I'm just gonna paper clip those together. And this just makes it a bit of a logical way to work really. So I'm gonna carry on doing this, cut everything out and then we'll be back so I can show you how to assemble the folio. I've cut everything out. I also had forgotten to print the panel D page. So I've done that and also cut that out too. And that's kind of a rounded pocket. So I've just pinned everything together for which panel it goes to. I do have to remove them, um, but I'm going to keep them in order while I put the actual folio itself together. So just take those off. And I just find keeping everything together makes things a lot easier. And what I've done is I haven't left all the black lines in this time. I've just left the spine lines. So I'm going to score all of my lines for my spines. And there's a smaller inside spine for the inside panel. So I'm just gonna go ahead and score all of these. And I've put a few lines on my scoreboard because a lot of people recommended that and I'm telling you, it's absolutely genius. Very helpful to do that. So let's score all of these. So the reason this kit came about was because the Lorella kit, which is the only other all purple kit I think I did, had been out for four years. So I was going to, um, I reduced it in the Etsy shop and I was going to um, revamp it. I was going to kind of update it a little bit um, and I got the kit all ready to kind of work on and I sat looking at it for quite a long time and I thought well how can I vamp this up and I thought hmm, maybe maybe I'll do something Halloweeny because it's purple and then I ended up actually not using any of the Lorella kit and starting a brand new kit so that's that's how this kit came about oh I haven't I haven't scored that line Let me just... there we go so all of those score lines are now in place. So I've put a few of these together while I've been trialing this out and I did actually glue this together the wrong way on one occasion so I want to make sure I don't do that again I actually glued it upside down um, so I'm <laughs> going to be very careful not to do that. Um, I've left this flap so I'm going to glue that flap and you want to make sure you glue close to that joining edge. Oh. And then I'm going to line this up. I'm going to turn it upside down I, only because of the lighting. Line it up with that spine line. I think that's how I got myself into trouble with the one I glued upside down. So we now have our folio cover and that will fold in, that will fold in and that folds over like so. Now all of these panels are now in reverse order so the, I'm going to move them into the right place. So D will go here, that's C, that's B and that is panel A and panel A is the one um, that I kind of need to show you most of how to put this together. So what I'm going to do to start with, let's start from the easiest one actually. So I'm going to grab panel D and just take that off. And what I'm going to do is I'm not inking anything and I am not um, sewing anything this time round. Just to make it nice and simple, I'm going to glue around the edge of this shaped pocket And I'm going to line it up with the actual panel, hold that in place and you can now see that we've got the pocket but the image will match up. Now if you wanted to sew, now is the perfect chance to do that. And then this will be glued into place here, like so. So I'm going to just glue this panel in place. And I'm trying to leave 
a fairly even border around that and it's obviously the fold is here for the spine so we've got a little bit of a gap there oh, I'm going to take panel B and C and show you the pocket options now I have cut the flaps off for my pockets and the reason I have done that is because I'm not um, I want this quite flat I'm not worried about backing my tags because this is just as for demo purposes really so now I need to decide what pockets I'm going to use and like I said there are both options for this so let's say we're going for that pocket on that side so I could have the opposite or the same and for this particular panel there are also um, two straight pockets so if you wanted to have two smaller pockets you could have that here too now obviously all of these bits and pieces could be used in a journal there are no journal pages and um, I probably won't be making journal pages I'm going to go for this so I'm just going to add my glue around my pocket now the pictures should match up perfectly if you wanted to um, ink or sew um, then I would actually sew down the top of the pocket and glue this into place these can obviously be made much more fancy you can add some bling and some fabrics and some laces and trims this is just a very, very quick demonstration for putting this particular folio together. Okay, so that's those two pockets done. And um, I'm just going to glue these into place. Okay, so those three are now done. So we've just got the last panel to go. And this is the one that's slightly more tricky. So I'm going to put these in my pockets. Okay, so what I might do is just glue these two pockets to each other. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue all the way around here. Very, very hot, very hot today. Um, there's been a couple of little noises that I'm not sure if they're thunder, but nothing seems to have come of it as yet. And put those aside. Now I'm going to glue this into place onto my back panel. Again, just around the edges because this is going to make another pocket. You can, of course, use a tape if you would prefer. Okay, so that's in place. Now, these are the two dots for the closure for the flaps. But I'm actually going to use my hole punch scrap piece of card. And I'm going to cut two more circles. And glue these together. These are, going to call for, these are going to form the closure for our flaps. We need to score these flaps like so. You can use your scoreboard. It's just mine's kind of down there and over there. Down there, over there, out of the way. So I'm doing that the old-fashioned way, just with a ruler. And then I'll fold those back on themselves. I'm going to take my awl. I'm going to grab my dots. So there we go. Brilliant. Now, these are lined up. I'm going to put those down. Let's put that on there, roughly in the middle. And I'm, like I said, I'm doing this by eye through both of those pockets. So go through both of those flaps, and now they all have a hole. Oh, I'm melting. So I'm going to grab my split split pins and just find two that match so I've just got two two split pins the same so I'm going to go through the through the disc and then through the flap I'm not going to make it too tight in actual fact I saw a trick I'm going to right Oh, that's perfect. I've got a piece of folded paper here. I'm just going to make a little cut. Actually, let's make this. I think, I think it's possible it might have been Pam at the paper outpost. 
that I saw do this. So I'm just going to put that in there, turn that over, close my split pins. Now I've, it's a rounded top split pin, so it's going to be a little tricky. So close that. This is the top flap. So this is the piece that goes on the back of that. So I'm going to turn that over. <clears throat> glue this little panel so this works as the inside you could always turn this into a pocket if you wanted to so put that into place leaving a little gap all the way round and now I can just burnish that down and we should have enough of a gap to add our thread to that so now I'm going to do exactly the same with this one so I think it is Pam, so thank you Pam, that's a fabulous idea. And now what I'm gonna do is take my, my flap piece, I'm gonna open that flap out and I'm doing it so we attach the flap to the panel. Put that into place, I'm gonna turn that over and glue my flap and close that. And we can push that down. So we've got our little flap there. And I'm going to do exactly the same for the bottom half. So now we have our little flaps that open up and down. And I'm going to glue that to this panel here. But if you do the this flap panel this way, everything's nicely hidden. A little bit high that's okay <clears throat> so i'm just going to grab some thin cotton kind of got this vintage thread which i love it's quite strong so i'm going to put it put it round that top disc and actually tie that and we'll tie a double knot around there and i'm just gonna Trim that off like that. Take the cotton and just double check that's going to be. So that can go round a couple of times. And then I'm just going to trim off a little bit more of that. So we have our closure. So I'm just going to pop a couple of tags in there. Um, as long as you've not glued too close to the edge of this, you should be able to get a big one in there. But I'm just going to put in another couple of small ones. And then I'm going to add a couple of tags to each of these larger pockets. And then we have one of the tags... I can find it, has um, kind of a tab shape, a tag shape top and bottom. And that one will fit nicely into our little corner, our little corner one there. It's very, very busy. It's very, very purple. There's a little bit of a hide and seek thing going on with the little black cat. So if you do purchase the kit, see how many you can find. Um, and this will close nice and easy like so. And then that will flip, flip and flip. And that is the basic folio, putting the basic folio together. So these are the tabs for the pockets. Um, like I said, for this particular version, I've cut those tabs off. Um, it makes it less bulky. And if the pockets have got the flaps, it then means you can actually back your tags um, I've just chosen not to do that for this demonstration. So um, I hope you like it. Um, it will be in my Etsy shop. Link will be down below. I'm sorry if I've said I'm a lot or if I've talked too quickly. Again, <laughs> it seems to be a, a new habit. I hope it was helpful. If you do decide you'd like to purchase this um, Witch's Tea Party um, Halloween kit, I will see you all really soon. Thanks for, <laughs> thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.